Jocelyn, in your presentation you outlined some characteristics of patient-centred hospitals. Uh, what were the most important um, characteristics and where do you think the NHS has furthest to go? The characteristics of patient-centred hospitals in the US are um, pretty clear that they um, have senior people who talk about patients and about staff experience a great deal and who demonstrate by the way that they spend their time and in their actions uh, that they mean it. Mm -hmm. So they can be seen around in patient care areas, they use staff newsletters to talk about um, their passion for this, they invite um, staff who've been patients to come and talk to them about their mm -hmm. experience, all those kinds of things. They also um, uh, pay attention actually to the physical environment which is something that Anthony was talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. So um, all of these things add up together. I think my own view is that whilst patients' experience seems to have climbed the agenda for policy makers and boards recently, I don't see that the same attention is being paid to staff and to staff health and staff well-being and staff support and all the mechanisms that there need to be in place for staff. The Point of Care programme uh, has been doing some sterling work in the development of something called Schwartz Rounds. Can you describe to us what this involves? Okay, a Schwartz Round is a meeting. It's a grand way of describing a meeting. It's a forum that happens once a month in a hospital that's open to all staff who want to, to attend it. Um, so it's a lunchtime meeting. People come in their own time, but the hospital provides lunch for them. And the focus for the meeting is the emotional and psychological consequences for staff of delivering patients' care. Um, the purpose of the meeting is to reflect on difficult, challenging, everyday issues mm -hmm. that arise in the ordinary work of um, caregivers in hospitals. Is there any evidence that these um, uh, rounds have Im impacted on quality and safety, or is it just about staff feeling better? Um, I would. The evidence is that for staff who attend, they're very, very uh, beneficial. Is it just about staff feeling better? Um, if you, I would have to say yes, it is, but there's also very good evidence in the literature that um, staff feeling better impacts on patients' experience. Mm -hmm. What the exact mechanism is, we don't know, but um, the data show that where staff feel good about their workplace and their management mm -hmm. and um, their colleagues, that that um, impacts positively on patients' experience and the rounds certainly do that for the staff who attend. Having demonstrated it works in two trusts in England, how would yeah. you like to see this approach develop from here on in? Um, well it's already happening in six organisations and it's about to happen in ten by the end of the year. Um, I would like to see um, more and more organisations committing themselves to establish rounds um, as a, a regular activity. Um, it costs a small amount of money and my plan uh, long term is to set up an entity that will continue to promote and spread rounds in the UK. Many people would say, well if it works in, in these hospitals, why shouldn't it be uh, something that's done in every hospital? What's yeah. your response to that? Um, it may not work if the organisation itself hasn't chosen to do it. Um, I think the culture here in the UK is very different from the culture in the US. People would be astounded to hear that anybody would mandate it in the US because mm -hmm. hospitals are autonomous. They do their own thing and if they think it's a useful thing to do, they do it. In England, for some reason, we think that if something's good, it has to be made to happen everywhere. I don't buy that. I think that part of hospitals, as it were, becoming more responsible for running their own affairs means that it should be up to them whether they choose to do that or something else. But what would be valuable, I think, is to ask organisations 
how they demonstrate support for staff. Have staff involved in these discussions um, identified uh, different forms of support that would also help them to cope with the stresses of uh, uh, caring for patients? That's an interesting question. I, um, I remember the very first round in Cheltenham, um, which was about um, somebody who'd had a stroke and who where there was a lot of conflict with her partner mm -hmm. because essentially the patient was going to die and um, the partner couldn't come to terms with that. Um, after the round, the staff who worked on the stroke unit um, decided that they would after events that have been traumatic for them as well as for the patients that they would have a regular debrief um, and um, I think that what we're hearing is that the conversations that happen in rounds begin to um, affect the way that teams think about what they're doing together um, back at base. There's a ripple effect in other exactly, words. Yes. Exactly, exactly. Jocelyn, thank you so much for sharing your experiences of the Schwartz Round and the Point of Care programme.